at the end of the day, my child was not under adult supervision. Frustration and confusion after the parents of a four year old autistic child say that he wandered out of his school last week and was found playing near the street. Our tennis reporter Matt Boone spoke to the parents who say they have now pulled their son out of that school. Yeah, the parents say all the students were inside the auditorium at lunchtime, but their son was able to get through the doors. He came outside and he was later found playing here in the sprinklers without any supervision. The parents of four year old Weston McKinney Davis will be the first to admit he's got a lot of energy. As his teacher says, she cannot handle him after lunchtime. And so I check him out at one o'clock. They say he has mild autism, <laughs> which had been communicated with his school, Angiers Elementary. Of all the children you need to keep eyes on, he's one of them. But last week, his mother, Carlina McKinney Davis, says she came to pick him up and the teacher told her something strange that they had to change his clothes after he played in a puddle. I was like, what puddle? She says the teacher explained Weston had run out of the door at the cafeteria at lunch to the grass in front of the school, where the sprinklers had recently been on. The biggest puddle is usually right here. It's unclear how long he was out there, but she estimates it must have been several minutes before anyone found him. I understand up until this line, that's considered school grounds. But at the end of the day, my child was not under adult supervision. He is a four year old child that was out here for at least five minutes before somebody noticed he was gone. A spokesperson for the district didn't provide any details about the incident, but told 10 News the student never left campus. We're playing supermarket. And called the situation a misunderstanding. Let's see it. His parents worry it could have been much worse. He could have tried to walk home. He could have got snatched. He could have got hit. It, it, it could have been so many different variables that could have happened in five minutes. And the family says they have hired a lawyer and are considering legal action against the school. Reporting in Sarah Mesa, Mapoon, 10 News.